Hello, good afternoon. Today we will be seeing an exercise how to do descriptive statistics analysis using inbuilt add in in Excel. Most of us are using Microsoft Excel, so we need to activate an add in here that is known as data analysis pack. Okay, how to do that? I will show you. Click on file. Then click on options. Okay, when you click on options, there are so many Excel options are there. Please click on add ins. Okay, when you click on add ins, it will show active application add ins and inactive application add ins. We need to activate some add ins to do descriptive statistics analysis. So, we have to click on manage excel add-ins click on go when you click on that button it will show what are the add-ins available in excel so what are the add-ins available analysis tool pack is available analysis tool pack for visual basics euro currency tools and solver add-ins so we need to add two add-ins. One is analysis tool pack. Okay, description shows analysis tool pack provides data analysis tools for statistical and engineering analysis. Okay, then you need to click on solver add-in also. What is the description? Solver add-in is the tool for optimization. And equation solving. So these are the two add ins we are adding. Okay, analysis tool pack and solver add in. And please click on OK. Let us wait for, yeah, now the add in is added. Now we need to do descriptive statistics analysis, right? So click on the ribbon data. Okay, drop down menu, data. So there are so many options are there for data. So please look for data analysis. So that data analysis tools. Please click on data analysis. So it will show you data analysis tools available. There are so many tools are there. ANOVA, a histogram, up to Z test. But we need to click on descriptive statistics because in today's lecture we will be seeing how to do descriptive statistics, right? Please click on descriptive statistics and click OK. Okay, now Excel is asking us two things. What is the input range? What data we need descriptive statistics? So just click on, yeah data from 139 to 128 that is systolic blood pressure values otherwise you can have you can select the full from systolic blood pressure to all the values okay so first row will be variable name and the second row third row up to 10 11th row will be values of systolic blood pressure right then labels in first row please click on labels in first row then excel will know that first row is label name or variable name okay then after that output options where the result should be there are three options there output can be in the same sheet or in a new sheet or in a new workbook so what I usually do in the same sheet. So output range, you can select a cell where the result should be. So I am selecting D6. So I am just clicking on this. Okay, D6 I am selecting. Okay, so D6 is selected. Then I am clicking on the full view. So output range will be D6. And what all statistics we need? 
we need summary statistics confidence levels for me 95% okay largest value smallest value so these are the main statistics it is showing okay summary statistics confidence level for me 95% largest value smallest value okay how many largest value needed how many smallest value needed you can choose okay here click ok then the results is appearing so you know you can drag the uh, column width to see the values clearly so systolic blood pressure what all descriptive statistics are available mean standard error median mode standard deviation variance variance is a square of standard deviation Kinesis value skewness value range minimum value maximum value sum count how many number is there okay largest value smallest value and confidence level confidence level means you can add mean plus this confidence level value is the upper limit of 95 percent confidence interval mean minus this confidence level value will be the lower limit of confidence interval okay 95 percent confidence interval so we can calculate so upper value upper value of 95 percent confidence interval so we can calculate okay then lower lower value of 95 percent confidence interval that also we can calculate how to calculate that will be equal to mean upper level of 95 percent confidence interval means mean plus confidence level value okay gender okay that is a 140.6589 is the upper value of 95 percent confidence interval lower value how to calculate equal to mean okay minus confidence level 95 percent okay so we got a complete descriptive statistics okay using excel thank you very much see you in next video